<laughs> Whoa, Moran. Guess what? We're going to have some fun today. And we're going to play around with some lightning arresters. And we can get lightning out here today. We could get it tomorrow. You never know when it's going to hit. And it's going to hit in your neighborhood someday. You're going to get one chance. And here at Midnight Solar, we have a lightning arrestor, SPD, that you're going to like. And we're going to hold it up to the competition, see who comes out on top. Here at Midnight Solar's Power Time, we're going to have some fun. I'm Joanne. Some serious fun. And I'm John. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that most inverters break down and fail around 2,500 to 3,000 volt surge? With near lightning strikes, there can be thousands of volts entering your electronics through the AC and the DC wiring. That's why you want something that's engineered to protect your house and your electronics. That's why here at midnight, we, we build an SPD that will do just that for you. Well, while you show them how to test it, I'm okay. going to go get us some coffee. All right, let's go upstairs. Joanne's down getting our coffee. We're going to meet Mario up here. What he's going to do is he's going to take our lightning rest or our SPD and he's going to put it through the test. Let's see what she can take. Mario. Hey John, how you doing? Good. Mario's an engineer here at Midnight Solar and he's the one that designed the uh, SPD. SPD you know 300. Yeah, <laughs> so he knows them. What we're going to do is we're going to put it through some rigorous tests and see if we can blow it up. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Well, can you show us exactly what you're going to be doing here? What kind of test? Yeah, I will show you. This is a, actually a hyper machine where we're going to be cooking up the uh, line arrestor. This is going to simulate a really small lightning strike. Still going to be harmful for your system though. How much power is going to go into that? There's going to be 5,000 volts coming out of this hyper machine into the line arrestor. And then we're going to be seeing at what voltage the line arrestor starts clamping down. So realistically, can five, 500 or 5,000 volts harm that? 5,000 volts will kill your system. It will. Okay, Mara, you get this hooked up. We have the, the green is going to be the earth ground, and the black is going to be the PV minus, and the red is the PV positive, correct? Yeah, that's correct, on a typical PV system. A, okay. The SPD can also work on AC systems, though. Um, the black will be one of the phases. One phase? Yeah. The red will be the other phase. Okay, the red is the second phase? Okay. And the green will still be earth ground. Okay, earth ground still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Moral, now we got our 300 uh, SPD set up. Can we run it through a test? What's going to actually happen now? Well, we're going to apply 5,000 volts, but uh, we're going to see the screen actually um, go up to 385 volts and then the SPD will take over and it will. Um, clamp the voltage down. When you say when you say clamp down, what do you mean? That means that it's going to keep your system safe. Okay, and so how, how do I know it's going to be on the lightning arrestor? It's going to be all right. Well, the LED will light up. Only one though, because we have only one connected. So I don't want nobody to get confused. Uh, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's give her a try. Here it goes. And that's three hundred and sixty. Oh. So that means. That means that uh, the line the line arrestor actually tripped. So my stereo is safe then. Yeah, you can keep playing it loud. Oh, <laughs> cool. Okay, so Midnight Solar's SPD passed. So now uh, we got our competition up here. Let's let's put it through the test. Let's see what this can do for us. You really want to see? Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see what this thing's gonna do. Okay, here it goes. And this is gonna go up to five thousand. Yeah, we don't know. Just wait and see. Okay, we're still safe. Nah, you're not. Uh, it went our inverter. Mm hmm. Inverters, it goes our system. I want my stereo. Yeah, whoa. Well, I'm that... sorry, this max is out of 5,000. If I had a 10,000, it would keep going. So, hey, this would only go up to 5,000, but it would just kept going, and this would have just kept taking it. Yeah. It did nothing then. Pretty much nothing. So I just fried everything yet. So everything I invested in is gone. Your system, it's fried at this point. Oh, I gotta have some more fun with this thing. I think I'm gonna take you downstairs. I'm gonna crack this thing open and see what's inside. You should. You should. You'll be surprised. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Marl, without a doubt, you've shown us what what we can depend on, and it definitely the 300 is something we can depend on. 
Well, I'm going to take it downstairs. I'm going to cut it open. I'm going to find out what's inside this thing, why it doesn't work. Again, right. I really appreciate it. What an excellent product. Okay. We'll talk to you a little bit later. I'll take that one. You want to take this? <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, baby. Well, as you saw a couple minutes ago, we tried to, we tried to see what this thing would do. It failed, and I, I can't resist it. I'm going to cut this pup open. Let's find out what's inside of it. Here's your double mocha. Oh, cool. So, how'd the test go? Oh, yeah, we, we, Mario set it up up there, and we took this thing up to 5,000, and it just kept going. This does nothing. It so does it's absolutely So no, it's not nothing. even safe? No. So you're going to cut it open? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick it in the vise here and see how far I can get into it. I don't know what I'm going to run into. How fun. But I'd love doing that. I'm destructive. I love doing that. Wait, wait, wait. Like that. Let's do this right. Yeah, go for it. You want to do it? Let's I'm, do it. I'm standing back. <laughs> I don't blame you. No wonder. It's sand. That's going to protect your home. No wonder I lost my stereo system and everything <laughs> else. Oh man, I'm giving you the tools after <laughs> this. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it's sand. So let's, let's take this, this one apart. Let's cut this yeah, one yeah. and open it up and see what we got inside. Why don't we just take the tab off? Oh, show off. Well, you know, some of us got to think. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Roosters. No sand. No sand. You might say our, our surge protection testing wasn't official. We want to make it official for you. So what we did is we asked Robin Gutchell. He's the president of Midnight Solar. If he wouldn't mind taking a road trip down to California. And he took off. Yeah. He went to World Products Testing Lab in Sonoma, California. They got a surge generator down there that meets national and international standards. And this pup is just like a real lightning strike. So when he gets back, we're going to have the results and we're going to give them to you. Hi, I'm Robin Gudgel from Midnight. This is Jim Haggerty and Leonard Drews from World Products. We're down here at their facility today in Sonoma, California to do some testing on our surge arresters. Today. Let's take a look at the facility here, Jim. Great. So we, uh, we purchased this surge generator at great expense to, to, to do validation testing for our good customers to, to UL 14, 49, third edition. It's not what we're going to be doing today. We're doing some benchmark testing to help Midnight Solar get a good idea of clamping levels and maximum surge energies that the, that the units can handle. But very excited about this. We do open our facility to, uh, to the public in order to come in and validate some of their own designs. And, Midnight Solar is one of our very first customers to be down here and do this with us, so we're very excited to have you. And we're going to have a little more fun because we brought some of our competitors' units to play with, too. Oh, that will be fun. Yeah. We'll see how they hold up. Yeah, being, being a UL lab here, you've, you've got to be, everything has to be calibrated. We've got, in essence, um, a two-channel scope here. One's going to be set up to monitor the current level. The other channel is going to be monitoring the clamping voltage. Well, knowing that inverters and charge controllers are, are safe up to 2,500 volts or so, because they, they get tested. Every inverter and charge controller that's UL listed or ETL listed does get tested at the factory to about 2,000 volts DC. They have to pass this test. So as long as we can keep the clamping voltage below that level, your units are going to be safe. Of course, the lower the clamping voltage, the safer they are. So Leonard, what did it turn out to clamp at? Uh, 2700, it was the current, and... Uh, 2700 amps, so it was close to the 3000. About 910 volts. 910 okay. volts, still a very safe level for protecting equipment. That's the highest peak. So yeah. Really it's going to be this is the uh, 300 volt SPD. It actually starts conducting current at about 385 or 400 volts, as I remember. And the higher the current, the higher that clamping voltage will go to. 
uh, in this case with 3,000 amps, which is a pretty high, high surge too. It went up to uh, 910 volts. You'll yeah, notice right. in this other video that in that 60 second interval between surges, the LED was still on. So your unit is still operating. It's still, it's still operating. That's why we put the LEDs there. If, if the LED is ever off, that means the fuse has blown and uh, the SPD is no longer functioning. The good thing is they're repairable. Let's go ahead and throw one of those gray Dealey bobs on there. So we're, here we have the gray cylindrical unit. We're going back to um, the combination wave um, with a pre-discharge voltage setting of 7.7 .7 kV, which should give us approximately 3,000 amps, assuming that, that, uh, that it sparks over, and that's what we would expect. 7,700 volts? So about 7,200 volts. 7,200. So instead of clamping it to 240 volts like their spec sheet claims, it was off by a factor of, what, 20 or 30? Uh, 7,700, 7,200 volts instead of 240. That didn't protect much. The test down at World Products turned out awesome. It was very conclusive. So why don't we tear into it and show you what it's actually made up of? Here at Midnight Solar, they make a lightning and arrest today that you can actually look at and say, I trust it. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead. downstairs. You know, even our cameraman gets to go to California and we don't. What's up with that? Yeah, what is with that? I want to go. Hey, I thought he had my coffee cup for a second. <laughs> All that aside, here at Midnight Solar, we have three different voltages in our lightning arresters. We have the 115, and the 300, and the 600 volt. You know, these can take a 115,000 amp hit. That's, that's a lot. That's going to protect your systems. That's safe. If you notice, this midnight 300 volt lightning arrestor, you'll see eight high intensity fused mobs, each rated at 18,000 amps. These mobs are used to protect your circuits against excessive surge voltages, and when triggered, they'll redirect the current created by the high voltage away from your sensitive components. In other words, these lightning arresters are very sensitive. They'll protect your systems from harmful surge voltage. Many competitor lightning arresters are attached inside to a DIN rail where they can't be seen if there's any kind of a problem. DIN rail mounted arresters are typically weak due to the small moths that they use. And ours here at midnight, they're out in the open right where you can see them. You can see the lights and everything and they're, they're, they're fixable. We can repair them and they have a five-year warranty. Well, I think we've proven our point. We've done all these tests, and we're the best. We took it to a lab down in California and put it through the extremes. You have the proof right there. Midnight Solar has the highest quality product on the market. Mm -hmm. This is going to protect your system. This is going to protect your components at home. I have a nice stereo, and I don't want to lose it. So if you get one chance, one chance, you want to do it right. I'm John. And I'm Joanne. And look for more episodes at Midnight Solar's Power Time. <music> But because it wasn't official, I want to stress it wasn't official, we decided to ask our president of Midnight Solar here if he wouldn't mind going down to California. He has a name. Oh. We have, we've had all kinds of fun trying testing our light. We decided to send the president of Midnight Solar, Robin Gudgel, down to California. There's a laboratory down there. It's called World Products Testing, and they did the something I can't remember. <laughs> and I went so for it. <laughs>